Hey Cadillac fans, I really hope you're enjoying watching us build the 1959 Cadillac Eldorado Brits from the ground up. One thing I think about though is a lot of you aren't building a car from the ground up, even if you are enjoying watching it. You might have a car that's a project that you're working on, something you found, or you might be shopping for a car. And so when you might want to see a little different how to do repairs or how to put on some new parts or upgrade it. So we headed down to Bakersfield and I picked up a new little toy. So we want to show you what we got here. That's right, we've got a 1964 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. And so with this car, it's a beautiful car. But it is a bit of a project too. There are some things that we need to upgrade on. So we're going to start a whole new chapter here of Caddy Daddy Presents where we're going to show and share with you how to do maintenance on the vehicle, how to upgrade some of those parts, how to get maybe recorrect some of the parts that weren't properly put on. And we have all the staple of all the parts to use and we want to share those parts with you. So come and join us on a new chapter. Let's go check it out. Hey, Mr. Bob, Mr. Bob, Mr. Bob. What's happening, John? What are you, what you doing, man? <laughs> Getting this guy ready. Hey, so check this out. I've been working on this list of parts for two days. So I brought you your latest Ooh. goodie box, let's we got call all it. All sorts of stuff in there. So far, 61 items are needed, and <laughs> there's going to be more. You think everything's there, and you didn't run into that with project cars, and you go through and look at it. Let's go around. Let's see what some of that stuff is. Yeah, yeah, sure. These hubcaps right here, yeah. those are good looking, but those, those are earlier ones, aren't they? They are. They're one year only. So along with the hubcap, which is actually wheel cover now because they don't cover just the uh -huh. cap. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and the rim, uh, they, it goes on one year only, 1956. But I really like them. I like the chrome, and I like the fact that the emblem is 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 really nice on it and i love the four inch wide white wall i know that those originally came with a small white wall yeah but i sure think it, it gives it more character to it and it breaks up the red well yeah well it, with the 64 eldorado one of the traits that it has no fender skirts in first the rear. year without fender skirts well, well yeah i mean uh, it's the last year of the fins mm -hmm. and all the 64 models had fender skirts. Just the 64 Eldorado did not. And they made a little over 1,800 of these, of these cars. See, that's not, that's yeah. a short little run. Yeah. This car has every single factory option on it, except for bucket seats. But that was an option. That was an option. Then, yeah. So. This one's got bench seats, and, and, I, and I think they'll be just great. Oh, man. It looks good. Let's go take out, check out a little bit more of it. Yeah. Yeah. And, like we're saying, it's not going to be a 100-point car. It's a car a lot like you might have at home or you're looking to find or a project that you could find. Get in it and drive it. That's what I like about cars. Yeah, so I'm looking at, you know, little things like the rubbers and the felts. Yeah. We have all of that. I saw we brought some of that. Uh, yeah, that's in the batch I brought yesterday, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. We're going to replace all the window sweeps. Exactly. Now, looking at this right here, looks like when it did have a um, upholstery job on it. Right here, this was originally wood veneer on there. Yes, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, because that's what came with it. This has been is. covered with vinyl. So these look good, I think, for now, but we're, I think we should wood get that look, wood back. Wood will look back better. So we're going we're gonna to get the wood in and uh, stain it and make it look great. And then have the wood uh, available yeah. as well. That'd be so, great. Yeah, because yeah. that was a thing you see you know, really go bad sometimes in these rigs. So it'll be nice to have a nice new set. Yeah, there's also wood that would be in the back on oh. that little panel as well. And we also noticed that the person who did the upholstery on here got very creative. And so they did what they had. And a lot of people do that. You're on a budget and you only can do so much, but you want your car to look really great. So apparently he had a 63 4 coupe. And that trim right here does not belong on the car. But it does look pretty nice. Yeah, it probably what did they found in a salvage yard or had a parts yeah, car. Yeah, a parts something. car. But what, what we're going to do, what this car should have had, is a red lens in here. So when you open the door, you, you know, 
I mean, you're opening a door you, at nighttime. You, you, you got to have the light on there. You, you got to have a light on. Yeah. This, the door sill plates. It says El Dorado. It does look pretty cool. But, but it's not quite the right one. No, we've got those in stock yeah. at Caddy Daddy, and we'll we'll put those uh, on there as well. Yeah, we'll show um, them how to do it, and we'll get it on there. We right, get it set. Right, this is door edge guard, but it's plastic and it and it's peeling. It's a good way to go on a budget. We can offer this, uh, and we're going to look and see if we have in our stock from all the parts cars that we've yeah. had and all the inventories the correct the correct door, stainless yes, yes stainless steel door door edge. What you have to know is on, on the top, this top has shrunk. And so normally you'd have it and it would cover the roof rail rubber and all this rubber is trash. So we'll be replacing that. We'll be replacing every single piece of weather stripping and showing you how on this, on this vehicle. And they're all available from Caddy Daddy. We discovered and, uh, that this car used to have electric vent windows, which was an option. And well, they decided just to cover them up and not even have anything. And so in the parts I brought over, uh, this is what a switch looks like. And, uh, and then so we'll, we'll, we'll get this going and then we'll send one out to have replated show quality because I want to see this thing. You, yeah, what, you're, seeing it. you're sitting there and using it. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll get into the door and we'll show you every single item that would need to be replaced and how it could be replaced. Yeah. Wind window rollers. Exactly, because that's what we want to do. Once this comes off, we're going to show you the interior, mm -hmm. all the pieces of it, because that's the thing that happens a lot of times. You get the breakage of the switches, the regulators, the locks. So we'll do a whole breakdown in a future episode, show you all inside and show you how to get it all square and everything rolling up and down nice and smooth. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I like it. So you might also see here, when you look across the car, we've got it jacked up already. And that's one thing, we're doing a first checkout. Since we just got the car, we're going through it. We're gonna do some suspension work on it so the thing rides perfectly, checking all the brakes, go through mechanically, engines, uh, engine, the hose, the carburetors, all of the little pieces and parts, and we're gonna share that with you. You know, one of the things that uh, I wanna talk about is the mechanics of this car. And uh, when we first got it, we came into a little problem um, and I, I don't want to talk bad about shops. They sometimes, these are professional shops. They sometimes just make things work or try to make things work. And uh, sometimes they don't put quite the right parts in the car, do they now? Well, especially sometimes when they don't put the right part in the car and you get stuck on the side of the road in Bakersfield and get it on the trailer. Yes. But that makes for stories. Those are all Cadillacs trip stories. So. Yes, and you take a starter that's not meant for this car, and you, what do you Gr do? <laughs> Grind it down yes. just to make it fit. Because oh it probably God. worked at first, and it worked just about enough to get us about five miles. So we're yeah. going to go ahead and get going on this, and pretty soon we'll have it on the road. Mm -hmm. Show you know, Get the GoPros on there, show going for a ride in this thing, and we'll go ahead and start doing the shakedown runs mm -hmm. and figure out mechanically get this thing humming, and then we're going to get all the little details and make this thing... Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Just sp like a clock. Spring is around here. Oh, yeah. We're going to have this ready for summertime. Oh, yeah. So. Fine Village is a great organization that gives back to the community. Check it out. You'll see so as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Sonnen Kirsten. We're here at the 2018 Vine Village Celebration, our major fundraiser here that helps fund programs that we run for people with developmental disabilities here in the greater Napa community. Vine Village was founded by my family and another family, each who had children with disabilities in 1972. And we depend on donations from all sorts of foundations and individuals and businesses throughout our community to help fund these programs and this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Everybody.